let's move on to similar structures which look like false edafa and there are some points to cover in there i have uh, let's start with this i have this chronic aya here hal yastawil ladina ya'lamuna wal ladina la ya'lamuna are those who know equal to those who don't know so this is basically highlighting the importance of um, obtaining knowledge it's nothing to do with murakkab edafi but i have a relevant uh, hadith here so here we we have quran says this um, surah 39 ayah 9 uh, surah zumar that allah taala says it is important to obtain knowledge and quite rightly knowledge is really power so knowledge gives you power um i've got hadith here which uh, um we're all i think familiar with all of us talabul ilmi faridatun ala kulli muslimin acquisition of knowledge obtaining knowledge is mandatory for every muslim simple state forward and then another hadith which is kullul muslimi alal muslimi haraman all the things of a muslim are inviolable for a brother muslim um damahu his blood maluhu his wealth yudahu and his honor so i want you to focus on uh, translation is simple straightforward there's no problem there i would like you to focus on uh, these two constructions here kulli muslimin and kullu muslimin kulli muslimin here we have uh, the word kull two points really basically to cover here the word kull um is kind of always used as a mudaf so which means the noun which follow kul is going to mudaf ila and by its uh, nature the mudaf ila is going to be in majrur form as far as the arab is concerned so kulli muslimin every muslim we are saying every muslim so acquisition of knowledge obtaining knowledge is mandatory for every muslim here here we have this kullul muslimi so muslim mun muslim word here has become definite here it's indefinite and here it is definite so what's the difference when we use this construction this means kullul muslimi every muslim kulli muslim which if we don't have ala it will be kullu muslimin and kullul muslimi when we make muslim from indefinite to definite noun the meaning changes to the whole of a muslim kind of all of a muslim which what we really saying is all the things which belong to muslim muslim everything of a muslim the whole of a muslim so that's the difference in the meaning which is really important if we use kulli muslimin we are saying every muslim kullul muslimi we are saying the whole of a muslim the whole entity of one person basically so in other words everything which belongs to a muslim every bit of a muslim that kind of meaning we can also highlight the difference by saying um for example we say kullu kitabin every book and i can also say kullu kitabi make it definite kulul kitabi kulul kitabi so what's the difference here 
If I want to say I have read every book in this library, so I will say Kullu Kitabin, every book. If I want to say I have read the whole of this book, I have read this book in and out, I have read this book page to page, I will say Kullu Kitabi, the whole of this book, all of the book. That's what I'm saying. Similarly, if I say Kullu Yawmin, that will be every day. Kullu Yawmin, every day. And if I say Kullu Yawmi, that will mean the whole day. One day, but the whole of that. And here we are saying every day. We can also say, for example, um, every student. So we'll say, Kullu Taribin, every student. Kullu Taribin, every student. If we want to say all the students, we will make this plural. So that will become Kullul Tullabi. Kullut Tullabi this sun letter. Kullut Tullabi. All the students. Every student, all the students. However, if we want to say the whole of a student, which means all the things which belong to a student. So we'll, we'll make this definite. Kul, kulut talibi. So that's the kind of difference. Kulut talibin, every student. Kulut tulabi, all the students. Kulut talibi, every bit of that student. All the all which belongs to that student or the whole of, of a student. So that's the kind of difference which we really are looking at here. This here really means then every entity, which means every student, every city, every library, every university, every river. And this will mean the whole of one entity. So the whole student, the whole city, the whole library, the whole university, the whole river. So that's the kind of difference between these um, constructions. There are other words which are used similar to kul. Just a few more examples. They use similarly, for example, if we want to say some students will say baad, word baad. Use similarly to kul. Baad duttullabi. Badutullabi. So some students, and if we want to say most students, we can say aksarutullabi. So aksar is also used similarly. Aksarutullabi. Some students most students. So that's the kind of uh, difference between uh, these different constructions.